school resource officers at a Southfield high school make a stunning discovery after a tip from a student. This gun was loaded, fully loaded, and it was a round in the chamber. A student now under arrest for bringing a gun to school. And the video you see here shows those officers struggling to get a hold of that 40 caliber handgun inside a bathroom Monday at Southfield A&T High School. And as police investigate, we're learning how they believe the teen was able to get his hands on the gun in the first place. Sean Lay with us live from Southfield tonight with more. Sean. Just got done speaking with the police chief here, Elvin Barron. How does a 15 year old at a high school here get his hands on a fully loaded handgun? Apparently that handgun was unsecured at a home in Detroit. The team was there and apparently stole it. This is body camera video from school resource officers inside Southfield's largest high school, Southfield a &T. This is Monday, 10 a.m. Students alerting school security that a student had a gun. That student found in a restroom and taken down. Here's Southfield Police Chief Elvin Barron. Carrying a gun on school property is unforgivable. I'm going to say it again, it's unforgivable. It's too many things happening across our country when it comes to these weapons. The gun, a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson, 12 rounds, one in the chamber. This is a 15-year-old. The handgun was in his waistband. A student in a restroom with a handgun. We all know how alarming that is. Southfield PD says the student is from Detroit, was having problems with other teens in Detroit, and was carrying the gun for protection. But where does a 15-year-old get a handgun? We were able to track down the origin of the weapon uh, to a home in the city of Detroit where we believe is that uh, our suspect was recently at this home visiting his friends. And then he was able to find this weapon uh, and then steal it from that residence. When we encourage our students to, you know, see something, say something, uh, this, is, this is how it works. And, and we commend the students for taking that step. More to tell you here, that 15-year-old being held at Children's Village, no bond, facing a long list of felony gun crimes. I asked about the owner of that unsecured handgun, that too under investigation, could face charges for leaving that gun unattended, allowing that 15-year-old to steal it. We're live tonight. Sean Lee, Local 4, back boy, to you. Oh, boy. All right, Sean, thanks very much.